Welcome back, super friends and super family. I'm Nick, and today I'm reacting to Friends, Season 7, Episodes 11 and 12. So continuing with a few more episodes of Friends today. Very excited to jump further into Season 7. I don't know if we're still going to be taking place around Christmas, New Year's time. I always enjoy the holidays for Friends, but we might be done with that. We did have a couple good Christmas episodes already. We will see. As always, you want to watch along the full unedited reaction that is up on Patreon, along with future episodes of Season seven of friends let's just get right into it friends season seven episodes 11 and 12 i've got to try this cheesecake oh, you cheesecake is really good oh my god so creamy oh. oh dang it must be really good it was at the front door when i got home somebody sent it to us who braverman downstairs oh dang <laughs> that was a great like <gasps> From Rachel. You can't return a box after you've opened the box. It's too delicious. <laughs> <laughs> too delicious to return. I like it. Losers are the big cheesecake conglomerate. Mama's little bakery. Yeah. Don't take on small cheesecake. Take on big horrible, cheesecake. Horrible person. Well, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> <laughs> but the dessert is so good it drowns out your sense of moral righteousness. And I haven't had cheesecake in a long, long time, but good cheesecake. I mean, come on, cheesecake fans out there, it's a good dessert, right? Especially if it's good quality. Today they do this test on me and it turns out I'm not brain dead. Wow, wow, get into character. It's just my character that's not brain dead. <laughs> Dinner plans with Joey about once a month to discuss the rest of you guys. Oh, wow, I want to see these conversations. Cousin Franny's wedding, it's tomorrow night. You were invited? You weren't? No. <laughs> Franny and I were inseparable. At the age of nine, Franny's made some new friends. <laughs> There's a slight possibility. You were invited, and the invitation just got lost in the mail. Yeah, I don't think so. She tried to undress me, too. <laughs> really? I used to undress my cousin Glenn. <laughs> Glenn? <laughs> Monica's like, he didn't really say that, don't worry. Triviani, are you home? I'll tell you, Rachel Karen Green. <laughs> Dang, everyone gets the middle name. Phoebe's a mom today. Name never caught on. The Rossatron. <laughs> <laughs> Please let it catch on now. The Rossatron. <laughs> what are you middle naming me for? Yes, yes, exactly. It's a thing. You can cancel plans with friends if there's a possibility for sex. <laughs> That's He's an right, official that rule. Is the rule. <laughs> Friends and girlfriends are gonna come and go, but this is for life. That's a good point. Dinner tomorrow night. I'll pay for myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you warm me down. <laughs> That's sweet. Okay. Oh, you're over there. How about another beer for the Rossatron? <laughs> is that back? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's back. Officially, I love it. The Rossatron. They delivered it to the wrong address again. <laughs> Did you eat any? You want more? I've forgotten what it tastes like, okay? Did you? It's cheesecake. It was fine. No, 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 no. Rich, yet light. <laughs> wow, my whole mouth just filled with saliva. <laughs> Where do you want to go to lunch? Mama's Little Bakery, Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> Limited seating in the hall. Limited seat. Ooh. I am just one tiny person. With one small personality. This time she saw you turn one of those little wedding chairs into kindling. <laughs> the reason why she's not invited. What's the real reason? Despite what some people say, not broadbacked. Broadbacked? What? He has a chance to get on broadback. Not broadbacked. <laughs> <laughs> you can't cancel on Joan linguistics department. Okay, they're wild. They are. This is her wedding. Happiest day of her life. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang. Monica's, Monica's got a boat to pick. Wait a minute. I didn't pay. I thought you paid. Apparently, we just don't pay for food anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are a bad influence on each other. I kind of like it. Mrs. Braverman must be out. You don't want her to come back to bad cheesecake. <laughs> no. Like... <laughs> so we're protecting her. Yes. Sort of moving around in there. Go, 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 go. <laughs> with David who went to Russia and broke my heart da no way that dude say someone's name enough they turn around <laughs> oh my gosh that was so long ago what what are you doing here yeah you look phenomenal <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> 
Look, I, I got a confession to make. What? Of course I would want to see you. I think about you all the time. Dang. It's a statue that reminds me of you. It's actually of Lennon. Is this a compliment? <laughs> Dinner, uh, tonight? Yes. Oh, no. Oh, shoot. I can't. I can't believe I have plans. Oh, my gosh. I, I have to go in a few hours. I have to be on the red I'll eye. cancel. Joey will understand. Can I talk to you for a second? Uh -huh. The rule applies. I have plans with Joey tonight. So? He'll understand? Yeah. Potentially, the love of my life comes back from Russia just for one night. I mean, uh, I think. Joey will understand. If I don't have my principles, I don't have anything. That's true. Rush through dinner with Joey and I could meet David at nine. That could work as well. I hope she honestly sees him. They seem like they really care about each other still. That's crazy. I'm full. If I stop eating this, I'll regret it. <laughs> it's tofu cake. Do you want some? No. <laughs> uh, dude, dude. <laughs> Monica said she had a date at night. What? Oh, no. She goes and makes a date with a guy on the same night she has plans with me? Joey, it's not like that. Limited seating my ass. <laughs> jeez, jeez, relax, please, Monica. A blood relative. Blood. <laughs> please don't drink anything. Stop saying blood to strangers. <laughs> As a general wedding rule, that's a good one. College with both of them, and now we live next door. Hey, you're fine. <laughs> I love how Monica is vetting all the guests here. Green salad, um, house dressing, and water's fine. And make it quick. Let's go. Let's go. Slow roasted salmon. Ooh. Just how slow are we talking? <laughs> Already been roasted. Oh, then no. <laughs> oh, John, we've heard the specials three times, okay? Saying the poor waiter. Actually, we're out of the lobster ravioli. That changes everything. <laughs> Friends are so important. Very wise, I know. <laughs> I will have the lobster ravioli. Oh my gosh, did he actually forget? I have, I have an appointment. Ooh, well, what is it? Just be honest, Phoebe. It's a date. Okay, good. I have time to convince you because he's only here for four hours. Fine. Yeah. Oh. What are you still doing here? I told you, lobster ravioli. <laughs> He gets a salad, too. Very glad you're here. Come on, we're going to my place. Oh. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Evie knows what she wants. A cheesecake without me? Mm-mm. <laughs> Whistle right now. Please try. <laughs> uh. <laughs> tell Joey, tell them what we did. We are dessert true. stealers. We are true. <laughs> This is so true. This is perfect. I don't do with this cake anymore. And I'm taking it back. What? What? Like that? You can't take it back like that. Monica would be very interested. Called her cheesecake dry and mealy. Ooh. Split it. Okay. <laughs> There's more crust on this side. <laughs> this is an important decision here. Brian to me, you eat your piece too fast. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's karma. Give me some of your piece. Oh, 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 oh no! <laughs> Don't come crying to me. I may just sit here. She's gonna knock his. And eat my. <laughs> Get that one by Chandler. That's the evidence of their crime, though, right out there in the hallway. Clean that up. Beautiful wedding. <laughs> You'd be happy to see me. Now, wait a minute. You'd be nice. Yeah, be nice. Found your playboys and showed them to mom. All right, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Ross brought me. How do you like that? Hi, Brought to us. What could I have possibly done? Stuart. Uh, so it's really a question of who could you have possibly done? <laughs> Oh, dang, dang. I should have seen that coming. That was a great reveal. Of course, that's why. I fly to Manskin like... July. <laughs> oh, dang. Muy mernich stoka. That sounds sweet. Please clean my beakers. <laughs> I don't get out of the lab much. <laughs> <laughs> it's the delivery that counts. I wanted to say you probably shouldn't because, you know... Just say it. You're right. You're right. Don't say it. Really? I do, too. Bye, Phoebe. 
That has got to be the most meaningful relationship Phoebe has ever had. Remember how bummed you were the first time you went, and I just... Oh, dang. She's gonna miss him so much. No, I'm not okay. Oh. I may never see him again. <laughs> Subatomic particles, you know, before he does, then he could come back. <laughs> Yeah, a hug. A hug is more realistic. I could give it a shot. <laughs> <laughs> he would. Joey's so sweet, he would, honestly. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, this is too far. Joey will understand this, actually. You must understand this, Joey. All right, what are we having? <laughs> Without missing a beat, that's fantastic. Oh, good luck, Ross. Good luck, good luck. Oh my gosh. Go quick, go quick, go quick. Oh, shoot. Hi, sweetie. Are you leaving? I'm sick. I drank too much. I'm sick. I drank. I'm about to throw up. Please. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That is such a fair question. How could you be shocked? Oh. <laughs> Started seven billion years ago. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Pretty light streaking across the sky. Official <laughs> name is Bepstein. Okay. <laughs> Come on, let him have a little bit. Let him have a little bit. Mother Nature, amazing. That's a plane. Well, aren't humans amazing? In my apartment from up here. No, no, you can't. What? I, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> You know what else makes you wonder? A rack on this chair. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I haven't seen any stupid comets. Can we go now? Are they not coming? Chilly. <laughs> it looks freezing. And why are you wearing Monica's jacket? It's flattering. <laughs> <laughs> I won't say no to a movie. Yeah, you're you not exactly invited. Get me out of here. Oh. <laughs> What, is it the comet? No, another girl. There's a bug stuck in tar right here. Oh. It's a woman. What? There's two women. Dude. Show me where. They're gonna miss it. They're gonna miss. Where's the pipe that was holding the door? I don't know. Oh, shoot. Are they locked up here? Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> that was a perfect amount of time to wait. Look for some stupid Burger King comet. <laughs> Well-respected astronomer. <laughs> Joey's worst nightmare being stuck learning with Ross. Monica. She's sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> quick question, quick question. What? What's on your mind? Which one was Deep Impact and which one was Armageddon? I need to react to Deep Impact, honestly. Deep Impact was the one with Robert Duvall. Don't spoil it. It's what's going to happen to you if you wake me up. <laughs> Time I look at that cover. <laughs> Is that a real book? It is in the living room. What? Oh, thank God. <laughs> That's relatable. <laughs> Fair battery? How? What's going on? Just disconnected you! How can- Don't interrupt me! <laughs> I guess we know what we have to do to get down. What? Boss! Please help us! I was thinking we'd just go down the fire escape. <laughs> I wasn't finished. Please keep going, actually. But don't worry! Oh, no, 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 stop! Fire escape! <laughs> <laughs> that woke her up. Prepare for violence. You were gonna read my boring book to- Got interesting! Oh, dang. Damn you, Oprah! <laughs> Talk to each other all night long. Okay, that does sound fun. Yeah. Second sister died, huh? The second sister died? Oh, gosh. No. <laughs> it, oh, oh, that's the worst. Did you send those contracts? This is your idea of sexy talk? <laughs> I don't think it is. This is just one of your jokes that you do that I don't get. You don't know, like the thing when you put the phone in your pants? <laughs> <laughs> You didn't give me any contract. And I underlined today three times. Oh, dang. Sitting on your desk. Wanna go down to the office right now? No. Hey, don't have a serious fight. I don't want to be proved wrong either. All right, get your coat. <laughs> <laughs> Who is right? Well, we're just gonna have to jump. 
Are you an action star, Ross? Rossitron? Try to avoid that brownish red stuff in the middle. This is not a smart plan. You go up to the roof, let me in. <laughs> Ross, you can't make Joey jump. Bouncing back up. You just you, you plop. <laughs> Or what if I smack my head on the concrete? It's a possibility. <laughs> Let's flip to see who does it, okay? Can they see? No. No. Okay, well, you be careful. But no. <laughs> I have an audition tomorrow, and I can't go. Plus, he wants to live. Okay, he won't have a father if I die. Well, it looks like we're even. Audition versus son. Oh, no, Phoebe, this is a war okay. you're going to lose. I can just tell. Stop. All I have to do... <laughs> That's also relatable, thank. Well done, Phoebs. Okay. Oh shoot, that's its revenge. This is personal. <laughs> oh wow. What the <laughs> Sleeping, sweetie, I'm sorry. <laughs> Possibly no. Look at this mess, Tag. I mean, this is what I'm talking That's a little bit messy. Because you are gonna find those contracts on your desk. I feel like they're not there. Put it posted on it. Oh shoot. Must go out today. Rachel doesn't admit you're wrong. Just keep looking in there, all right? <laughs> <laughs> what is Rachel gonna do? Is she gonna try to sneak it onto his desk? Please tell me. How could I have left them in the copyright? I don't know, Tag. How can your genitals make phone calls? He's <laughs> okay, like, fair point. It's not a perfect world. Don't set him up. Don't do that, Rachel. Come on. Hello? Still awake? Yeah, you. That was me that just said that, right? I thought he was being funny. As long as we're both up. I hope you're not thinking about cleaning the living room. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that you could even confuse those two things says so much. I don't think anyone's home here. I say we just break the window. Oh, no, Ross. No, 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 no. Really? No one's home? I don't think so. I think someone is home. You're going to get caught. <laughs> That's what it's like if you knock on my window. When you get in there... <laughs> so you and I part ways, lazy bitch. <laughs> like, I didn't realize Phoebe fighting an alarm could be so entertaining, but it is. Do you know what just happened? What? We had sex and then we fell asleep. You were in the middle of sex. You fell asleep. Oh. No, oh, best time ever. <laughs> Please wake up. We can do it right. <laughs> I'm going to make you some coffee. It's too late. It's too late. Grounds all over the kitchen floor. Okay, I'm up. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Man, if this episode shows how well they know each other. You want me to check again? Well, yeah, I wish sure you would. Did he remove it? How about that drawer? <laughs> he found it and moved it. Is there any chance it could be in your room? <laughs> he played her. He played her right back. <laughs> Two can play this game. I mean, come on. Any luck? <laughs> How did you know they were in my bottom drawer? I put them there. So hot for you right now. <laughs> <laughs> How? Watch, it's just gonna be there. It's gonna be full horror movie. Just watch. <laughs> Knows your name, too. Fire alarm? <laughs> <laughs> Who is it gonna be though, for real? Fire alarm in the trash chute. Property of Phoebe Buffet, not Monica. <laughs> oh shoot. There's the reset button under the plastic cup. There's a reset button? Is the reset button gonna work? You should have tried it while he was there. The Where is it? Button. Oh, here it is. Oh. Oh shoot. There's no escape. There's no escape. It's like Phoebe's in a purgatory in a dreamscape or something. <laughs> climb down you now. How many pull-ups can you do, Joey? Face to face. Or butt to face. <laughs> face, face to face. They're both gonna fall, aren't they? Wait, Ross! Carrying a little holiday weight? <laughs> That's such a Ross response, I swear. <laughs> I don't think we thought it all the way through. <laughs> Shimmy down me and drop! How did they actually shoot this? Is he held up by a wire? Maybe I should hang and you should climb down. Maybe we should talk about that for a little while. <laughs> it's not that far, just drop. Don't rush me! <laughs> I think Joey and Ross are the best couple on the show. It's starting to come down and I'm not wearing any underwear. <laughs> <laughs> 
Is he okay? Oh no. Oh, he's okay. Joey, can you get back up or are you too tired? I told you. <laughs> I have to be up in seven minutes. For what? If you have seven minutes, you want to? What? You get the vacuum cleaner and I'll get the furniture polish. <laughs> <laughs> can to clean that in seven minutes? All right, so that's friends. Season seven, episodes 11 and 12. Two really good episodes, very different. Each one of them, episode 12 stood out to me as a very unique type of Friends episode, but I really enjoyed both of them. And in episode 11, we just had a really fun, kind of just awesome storyline with Chandler and Rachel and some amazing cheesecake. And it was just so, I don't know what it was about the dynamic between Chandler and Rachel, but something about it was just so fresh and engaging the entire time. I mean, the scenario was a good one as well. You know, I'm a fan of cheesecake. Even if you're not a fan of cheesecake, I'm sure there's that dessert or that food that you've tried before. And it's just mind-blowingly good or you just happen to be in the mood for it you know what i mean and you just can't stop eating it but you know it's a relatable thing that anyone can kind of connect to their own life in some way i feel like but i feel like what made that work beyond even that was just how great it was seeing uh chandler and rachel spend some time together in their own story arc and kind of you know see the progression I, I love how the dialogue reflected a little bit like two people committing a crime you know they're kind of poking fun at what they were doing and how they couldn't stay away and then almost like you know the story arc or the reality of crime itself you know there's no honor among thieves so there's like no honor among thieves even if you're cheesecake thieves together i like how they end up like they're betraying each other rachel is eating the cheesecake when chandler isn't there and then they have to divide things together and then next thing you know they're not enjoying this dessert, you know, and breaking the rules by stealing it together. They're, you know, trying to get the bigger piece of the pie. You know, it's like a heist movie in the tiny little storyline that is the cheesecake fight between Chandler and Rachel. And then even the way that it concluded with, you know, first Rachel, I love how she dropped it you know, right after like celebrating that she thought she got the bigger piece. And then of course she knocks Chandler's onto the floor as well when he's gloating about how he has it and she got her comeuppance. And then they just close that off with a really solid ending to that with Rachel, you know, just the visual of having like Rachel and Chandler, you know, facing each other, flat on the ground eating cheesecake on the floor outside of their apartment in the hallway like that makes it worse i don't know how it's somehow than if they were in their apartment eating it off the floor and then i love how joey just walks in takes a second to look at them and then like pulls up a fork is like all right what are we having you know just it was such a great little storyline as silly as it was and then it was really cool to have uh david show up again and you know I, i'd honestly forgotten completely about his character but i remember how much I liked that episode of he and Phoebe together. I, I believe it was season one. Maybe it was season two, but if I'm remembering correctly, it was way back in season one. And even back then, I felt like they had a very unique kind of special connection. And it, it was like they hadn't, it was like there was no time had, had gone between them. You know, like their feelings were as strong as ever. And the acting in those scenes just felt so sincere and genuine. I mean, I know they've had very little screen time together. And we honestly, you know, David is a very small side character. We've seen barely any of him, but I'm really rooting for him. I'm really rooting for him and Phoebe. Like the, the scenes of the two of them together was surprisingly touching. And I just, to, to me, the, I, I've never seen Phoebe behave that way with any other guy. I mean, you've seen her, like, really have a crush on people. You've seen her happy with other people for sure. But there's something just in her face, like, when she's around that guy that it seems so, so special. So, you know, he might be the one for her, you know. And, and he doesn't even need to be a major character in the show. Like, he could pop up later, and if they ended up together, I think that could be a really sweet conclusion for Phoebe. But but I just thought that was really interesting seeing seeing his character pop up again. Like I said, I'd honestly forgotten about him. And and then of course we have the whole dilemma of like, you know, she's trying to go out, you know, she's lecturing Joey about how it's friends first before you go out on a date. And that's an interesting argument right there, right? I mean, I guess I guess my take on it is going to be the boring balanced take. Like I think it really depends on the circumstances. I think just as a general rule, like if you make plans with someone and they take time out of their schedule, you don't just want to like drop those plans, especially if they're a friend, someone that you're close to, just because the opportunity to like go out with someone on a date arises. You know what I mean? Like try to reschedule that. I feel like friendships, especially close friendships, are something that you want to take seriously. You don't want to take for granted at any point. But, you know, I feel like 
me as a friend, I feel like I'm very understanding, especially if someone, especially if someone is like Phoebe, where it's like, this isn't just some guy that she met or some person that they're like, oh, this person's interesting and attractive. I'd love to go out on a date with them. This is something very special. And I think that was exactly basically what happened in the episode. I mean, it was kind of funny how Joey, you know, I like to see in the restaurant where Phoebe's trying to rush things, but Joey, of course, knows why Phoebe's trying to rush things. And so he's playing that game opposite to her. I do pity the waiter in that scenario. That's just, that's a rough night for you. That's a table that's going to give you nothing but grief, but uh, you'll be okay. Um, but then I feel like Joey, like once he realized um, and really probably thought about it, about how much Phoebe had cared about David, even back when they first met, you know, he he was really sweet. And that's what's so great about Joey is Joey is really understanding of Phoebe. Like it totally makes sense to me, you know, even though Ross was surprised and a little bit hurt that Phoebe and Joey would meet up once a month and have dinner, just the two of them. That actually makes a lot of sense to me because I always feel like the friendship that Joey and Phoebe have is special compared to, so, you know, just kind of like how Chandler and Joey have a special connection that maybe Ross doesn't quite have. Um, I feel like Phoebe and Joey have a special there, – there's something unique about their friendship together. I and mean, I just thought that was a really sweet moment where, you know, Phoebe's like tearing up at the end because this guy that she really, really cares about can't be with her. But then Joey is there to comfort her and just, you know, to hold her. That was that was sweet. And then it was kind of a like a very side storyline. It didn't have that much focus in the episode. But just Monica going to her cousin's wedding, I thought that was very funny. I particularly liked the, the reveal of like why Monica wasn't invited. Like, like I said, I really feel like I should have seen that coming, but it made perfect sense. And Monica was just like, oh, and just like all her anger goes away because it's kind of the perfect explanation for why, you know. But then even better than that was the aunt who wouldn't stop kissing Ross on the lips. I mean, it was funny enough the first time it happened, but when he had to go back for the closing of the episode, and he's just like, why, why? I mean, it's just, that's such a, a, an amazingly horrible situation for Ross to find himself in. And it's amusing as ever. But then episode 12, I thought was very unique. It was very different. At first I was wondering like, oh, is this whole episode so going to be the group of them, you know, like together in one location on the roof as they're watching the sky together. And I was like, that could be fun because I do enjoy the episodes where everyone's in one location together. But then it didn't go that route. But it kind of it kind of made for a very unique structural setup for the episode. Like I liked how the episode all took place at night. And I'm, tr I'm sure that's happened before in other episodes of Friends, but I can't think off the top of my head of another previous episode where the whole episode took place at night. And something about that was just really cool. And I like how each of the adventures the different characters were on felt a little bit unique for a Friends episode. I don't know if anyone else got that sense, but just, you know, it's situational comedy, don't get me wrong, but it felt a little bit different, you know? And I don't know if it just had to do with the night setting or the fact that the characters are split up in different ways. I mean, I love the fact that we got a whole storyline with just Phoebe battling, like, the alarm. I mean, that's something I could relate to 100%. It can't be very annoying when they go off and they're just, like, so, so loud. And you're just, like, rushing to, like, please shut this horrible noise off. But I just like how Phoebe, like, it was like a horror movie monster. She couldn't get rid of and especially the moment where like she hears the knock on the door and she's just like fire alarm you know <laughs> like I thought that was just pretty funny and then you have Rachel and Tag arguing over who forgot what in the office and for a second I was worried I was like don't tell me they're gonna have like a serious fight over something like this you know involving work right when they're having like a good night together but it didn't go that direction it ended up being much more amusing you know I love how Rachel was wrong all along and it was sitting right there on her desk but it's such a great Rachel reaction like instead of like apologizing and like coming clean, she comes up with a plot to like frame tag. And then of course he frames her back. I thought the acting in that storyline was just very strong and made the humor work even better. Joey and Ross being stuck together. Like I said, they might be the best couple on the show. I mean, between them falling asleep in each other's arms and then just the, you know, the bickering of them both stuck on the roof, like was so much like couples bickering or something like that. And just... <sighs> Well, I, I love how Ross is just repeatedly assuming Joey is going to take all the risk, too. He's just like, okay, so when you jump down this thing and almost break your leg and barely survive, then you'll come and rescue me. I have a son, so my life is more valuable, essentially. I mean, that's just perfect. And then, you know, you could argue in Ross's defense— um, you could argue that he's like, well, Joe, it's Joey's fault that we're in this situation to begin with. But I still don't think that means that Joey is going to be the one who has to risk his life about everything. And then just the scene of them like crawling on top of each other, trying to climb down. That was really well done. I kind of want to see behind the scenes for that. You know, I'm assuming 
Because that would be hard to hold on for a long time, especially if you're doing several takes of that scene, right? So I'm assuming they both had wires probably, or maybe it's simpler than that. Maybe, you know, just I mean, obviously the drop, you know, they weren't at danger hanging from a high height, at least I highly, highly doubt it. And I'm sure the stage floor was right beneath them. But still, I just, I'm curious about kind of the behind the scenes of that whole situation. And then of course we have uh, Monica and Chandler and they're just several really strong jokes in that storyline as well with the two of them together. You know, it's something you can relate to as a couple, I'm sure, where like one of you falls asleep, but the other one is stuck up all night by themselves and wants to do something to stay awake. You know, like that happens. But I, I just love how... <laughs> Like the suggestion to do one thing could be confused with cleaning, you know, just like that's the same tone and the same look that Monica gets on her face. Like whether it's cleaning or sex, it's the same type of excitement. I mean, that that's just hilarious. Like, does anyone else? I, I mean, I know there's a million jokes about Monica loving to clean and do that, but we that's like yet again, a, a new joke. That's the same type of joke, but it's. It's just great. You know, they haven't made that exact type of joke, making fun of Monica. And just it, it worked so well for me. I thought that was hilarious and also very well acted as well with just the looks between the two of them that whole night, man. But I hope you guys enjoyed these reactions. As always, the full unedited reaction is up on Patreon if you want to support the channel, along with future reactions of season seven of Friends. It's been just a really, really great season so far. I hope the quality stays this strong because... It is really, really impressing me. Thank you guys, as always, for watching. And as always, remember, be active, be mindful, and be a hero.